It's time for doom, and not just any kind of doom, doom of the sort of marginal cost, revenue, and profit. So dudes, you've seen these words thrown around before, but let's talk about what they mean and what you're going to be asked to do. Derp, 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 derp. Here's the old school thing. Way back in the day when the world was young and we were all innocent and naive, we would see a cost function that looked something like 10,000 plus 70x. And so you can see a handy dandy little graph of this line and the interpretation would be that um, you know, the more items that we make, then the more money we have to spend in order to get those items made so that we can go on and sell them or whatever. And dudes, when we had this way of looking at things, when cost functions were nice, simple, and straight lines, then we had a name for these quantities. 10,000 here was the fixed cost because that's just how much it cost us to get our equipment set up before we even started manufacturing items. And then 70, this was the marginal cost. And the idea behind marginal cost was that the $70 that we see here is how much it takes to make every item. So if I want to make um, uh, horrible Godzilla Barbie dolls, then it costs me $10,000 to set up the equipment and then $70 to make every individual horrible Godzilla Barbie doll. So that's cool, I guess. But dudes, the real world doesn't work that way. Not everything is straight lines. I know you thought I was going to say like Godzilla Barbie dolls. No, the real world definitely does work that way. But not everything is straight lines. So dudes, think about going to like Kroger versus going to Sam's Club. You go to Kroger and you buy iced teas for $2 an iced tea, uh, no matter how many you buy. But you could go to Sam's Club and buy them in bulk for like $1.50 or less. And so the whole point is the more things that you make, then the cheaper it becomes per item. And so it ends up not really being a straight line if you look at real cost functions. It ends up being some curvy crap like this. So you can still ask the question, what's the marginal cost? And really what that means is this. When you talk about like wanting to know what marginal cost means, it's just the cost of making one more item. So maybe I am going to make my mutant Godzilla Barbie dolls and this company in China says we will make them for, um, uh, if you want to make 100 items, we will make them for like $10 an item. And then I say, okay, but what if I want to make 101? How much more would you charge me for that one extra mutant Godzilla Barbie doll? And they would say something like a trillion dollars or whatever the number is. But that's the marginal cost, people. It's the cost of making one more. And the whole point is the marginal cost can change based on how many things you're getting made. So the marginal cost for making the 101st item will be different, possibly, from the marginal cost for the 1,001st item. The more items you make, usually the less the marginal cost is. But dudes, the general formula for marginal cost is just this, because it's how much money it takes to make the one extra item. So we take how much it costs to make the 101st item, and we subtract how much it already costs to make the first 100, and this is how much it costs to make just item number 101. So it's going to look something like that. And dudes, what you might notice about this is that we've got C of 101 minus C of 100. And that's the same thing as dividing by 101 minus 100. Because dudes, 101 minus 100 is just the number 1. So these are the same things. And all of a sudden, this quantity here looks like average slope. And not only does it look like average slope, but it looks like average slope between two points that are really close together. And if you take average slope between two points that are really close together, this is approximately the derivative. Because, dudes, that's how derivatives work. You take average slope at a nearby point, and you make that point closer and closer, and that becomes the derivative. So, what we have here for marginal cost, it's not exactly the derivative, but it is approximately the derivative. It's pretty close. And so, oh my god, marginal cost is the same thing as derivative. Marginal cost is the derivative of the cost function. Marginal revenue is the derivative of the revenue function. Basically, if you see the word marginal, you should just think derivative, and it's no big deal. And, dudes, it's good to remember that that's not exactly equal, but they are approximately equal. And so for all of 2.5, what you're going to be doing is seeing stuff that's like, estimate the marginal cost, please. And you're going to be like, no problem. I'm going to take a derivative. What now? Yeah. So, point is, mind blown. Nothing will ever be the same. Except that it will. 
All right, so dudes, here's the upshot. If you're supposed to find or estimate marginal stuff, then just find slash estimate the derivative. And this is going to be showing up in ways that you are familiar with. Um, the big three are going to be if you're trying to find or estimate marginal cost or revenue or profit based on a table or based on a graph or based on a formula. And you do your usual thing, people. If you've got a table, you take your slope to the right and your slope to the left and you average them. If you're doing this from a graph, then you uh, draw the tangent line yourself and like estimate its slope. And if you're doing it from a formula, if you know your derivative rules, you can just compute it exactly. Or if you don't know your derivative rules, then you can still like pick two close by points and find the slope there to estimate that. So last thing I want to tell you dogs is that because marginal and derivative basically mean the same thing as far as we're concerned, uh, you may remember this equation that says profit equals revenue minus cost. It turns out to be true that marginal profit equals marginal revenue minus marginal cost. So you may see a problem that says something like, uh, here's a table for my revenue values, here's a table for my cost values, estimate the marginal profit. And all you would have to do is find the marginal, pro, uh, the marginal revenue using the revenue chart, the marginal cost using the cost chart, and then subtract those two puppies, and that'll tell you marginal profit. It's no big deal as long as you remember your profit equals revenue minus cost equations. So dudes, those are the concepts. Stay tuned for examples, and I'll catch you later.